Hi, my name is Carl James Lankford. I've got a master's degree in archaeology and I've got at least 35 years worth of experience in archaeology. And this video is to just briefly talk about the corruption in archaeology and the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology doing nothing about it. In the past 10 years, not a single archaeologist has ever been dismissed or removed from the lists of being a member of the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology. There's so much corrupt and bad practice going on in archaeology that the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology does nothing about it. There are many examples, for example, the Glamorgan Great Archaeological Trust, Rubicon Heritage, archaeologists who work for CADU Welsh Historic Monuments, where there's issues deeming absolute corruption and the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology have done nothing about it. Across the whole of Britain, archaeological discoveries are being hidden, um, material not published uh, so that members of the public could see the information, which is against the rules in the Institute of Field Archaeology, but then again they do nothing about it. If you make a complaint to the administrator, Leanne Burney, at the Institute of Field Archaeology, it'll simply be swept under the carpet, like everything else at the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology is swept under the carpet. The issues concerning the poor practice in archaeology um, are many and various and I'd like people's comments. Um, I know full well uh, that this video itself isn't going to go down well within the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology and I think that about time that there was another standards organisation in archaeology so that the likes of the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology can keep their standards up. Um, unfortunately, if you're not a member of the Institute of Field Archaeology, it's likely that you will not be able to do archaeological work in Britain, which is absolutely appalling. Whether you've got a master's degree in archaeology or a PhD, it means nothing. Whatever experience you've got in archaeology, it means nothing. You've got to be a member of the Old Boys Club, and that's exactly what it is. A club dominated by men that decide, make or break you as an archaeologist. If you can't get in, it's unlikely you can do anything in archaeology. The great sadness is, is that without a decent institute to watch standards in British archaeology, we will see in the news more and more archaeological sites destroyed by the maladministration by archaeologists. Archaeology missed, archaeology destroyed, work all undertaken by members of the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology. It's quite ironic that I know of archaeologists with PhDs that are not allowed to join the Institute of Field Archaeology when if you look at Leanne Burney and Alex Llewellyn, two of the administrators in the Institute of Field Archaeology, they're far more qualified than them but they're not allowed in. I don't possess a PhD in archaeology but whether I did or I didn't, it wouldn't make me have any more access to the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology. Let's please have your comments with this video and I would appreciate that if those comments are abusive that you don't post them. They will be immediately removed. This is Carl James Langford and thanks for watching. And I'm sorry the state of archaeology is in the hands of buffoons like the Chartered Institute of Field Archaeology. Apologies.